Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to show you how to create a WooCommerce one-page checkout just like this one. The way it will work is that you will have a table towards the top of the page listing your products and you can either show some of your products or all of them. And then when the customer adds products to the cart and then scrolls down, they will see the standard WooCommerce checkout underneath. So on the checkout, just like normal WooCommerce checkout page, they can enter their name, their address, their email, any inf extra information about the delivery. They can add, um, choose which payment method they want to pay. And if your store has shipping options, which mine doesn't, then you can also choose a shipping method and all of that. And they can also see what is in the cart uh, summarized uh, within this one page checkout. So everything the customer needs to choose products and purchase is directly on this one page. And then once they've added all the checkout information, they click place order and the order is placed in WooCommerce and see it's all on a single page with the checkout um, listed underneath the list of products. We're going to set it up with the WooCommerce product table plugin, which is one of our plugins here at Bantu Media. And WooCommerce product table is what you need to list the products in this layout. I'll show you how to add that to the page with the standard WooCommerce checkout underneath. And you add this checkout without even needing any other plugins other than WooCommerce itself, of course. So this is the usual WooCommerce checkout that comes with WooCommerce itself. But the clever thing about this one page checkout method is that you are showing it underneath the product table to create basically a one page order form layout where customers can search for products, find them, add them to the cart, and then immediately see the checkout on that same page. It's a great way to reduce abandoned carts and therefore increase your conversions because customers can buy everything from that one page so they're less likely to get fed up and move elsewhere, which sometimes happens with having to click through multiple pages. Now let's get started and I'll show you how to set it up. Now we're in the WordPress dashboard and the first thing you need to do is to have a WordPress website with the free WooCommerce plugin installed. And you also need to get the WooCommerce product table plugin from our website, barn2.co.uk, and install that on your site. I'll put a link on where to get the plugin at the top of this video as well. Once you've installed that and you've added some products to WooCommerce, just under products, add new, that's all standard WooCommerce stuff, go to WooCommerce and then settings in the WordPress admin. And we're going to go to products this tab at the top, and then you'll see a new tab which is added by the WooCommerce product table plugin, which says product tables. Now this is where you need to enter your license key, uh, which you will receive in the confirmation email and also on the confirmation page when you buy the plugin, and that makes the plugin work. So enter the license key, and then just scroll through the options and choose whatever you want really. Um, the, there's tons of options, as you can see, which let you choose how your product tables behave on your website. And so these are the tables of products, which, as we saw here, will appear above your checkout form on the one-page WooCommerce checkout. So go through the options and choose the ones that are relevant to you. For example, you can choose which columns of information appear in the table, and that's really handy because you can think about the type of products you're selling and what will most appeal to your customers and encourage them to buy. I'm not gonna go through every option. I'm just gonna tell you about the ones that are particularly relevant to a one-page checkout. Now, product links, you might want to set that to none. And if you do that, you just write N-O-N-E, none in the table instead of all. Um, the reason for that is that you can see here, um, my product names are actually clickable. And if I click on that, and I'll just show you now, it will take me through to the single product page. And yeah, that's fine if you want a single product page, nothing wrong with it. However, if you want a one page WooCommerce checkout where you're really keeping people on that one page, then of course it makes sense to disable the links by adding none in the box there. Just scrolling down to tell you the relevant ones. Rows per page. Now, for a WooCommerce one page checkout, you might want to reduce the number of rows per page because that means that customers don't have to scroll down as far to view the checkouts. So if you look at my example here, 
I've got more than one page worth of products because you see I've got pagination links at the bottom, but I'm only displaying four per page. So that that means that once the customer has added the products to the cart, they can very easily scroll down to the checkout. By all means, you can add more products per page, uh, more rows per page. And if you do that, I'd recommend maybe have a checkout link at the top and you can use an anchor link to jump people down or something. If you read the written tutorial that comes with this uh, video, um, then I'll put a link in the description to that. Then I'll show you more information about how to do that, how to add links that jump people down to the checkout. Now, just going through the other ones, for the add to cart button, on my one page checkout, you can see that I've added some check boxes here. So if you choose a variation, assuming you've got variable products, then you can tick the box and then add selected to cart. So that's a good way to encourage people to buy more. It's quite useful for the whole one, app, one page checkout idea because you're basically creating a one page order form where you want people to be able to tick, tick, tick lots of products and add them all to the cart very easily. So you might want to change that one to checkbox. And that this is the most important option here, add to cart behavior. You must not tick this option, use Ajax when adding to the cart. And the reason for that is because with the Ajax option, when the customer adds products to the cart, it, you, it won't add refresh the page with the correct checkout underneath. So when you disable the Ajax option by not ticking that box, what happens when people add to the cart is that the page will refresh and that will populate the checkout at the bottom of the page with the correct products. So that's what you need. So don't tick that box. Um, you probably want to tick quantity selectors because that will allow people to choose more than one of each product before they add to the cart. For variations, you will probably want to choose one of these options. So that's only relevant if you have variable products. So if you have variable products, as I do here, as you can see, this is the drop down option, which lists them within a drop down. You can also list each variation on its own row if you prefer. You can choose where the add selected to cart button goes. In my example, for a one page checkout, I've put it at the bottom because I want to bring customers down the page towards the checkout, but you don't have to do that. You can change the text of that button. Um, you can choose about whether to show or hide search box filters, all these things that help people find customers more easy, find products more easily and things like that. So that's all the things that you need to think about on the plugin settings page. And the next step is to actually create this page here with your one page checkouts. So we go back to the WordPress admin and the next thing you need to do is add a new page. This is the page which we will be using to create our one page checkout with order form at the top. So we go to pages, add new, and this will open up the page. So you can call it whatever you want, like order form or whatever. I'm going to call it one page checkout. Uh, let's call it with comment one page checkout to clear. Right, the first thing I recommend that you do is to type, write some useful text at the top of the page which explains the process in a simple, friendly way to the customer. So something like, first choose your products and add them to the cart. Second, scroll down and check out. So you can write whatever you want, but the point is you want to communicate to your customers just in case they don't know this automatically. Um, that first they choose the products. Once they add them to the cart, the checkout will appear at the bottom and that's when they have to actually complete their purchase. So you can write whatever instructions you want, keep it brief, keep it really intuitive and that will work best. The next thing to do is to find this toolbar button. You know, if you can't see the second row, it's because you need to click the toolbar toggle. See this one here, shows and hides the second row. So in the second row, you'll see insert product table, and that will add a short code product underscore table. And that's what we're going to list your products. Now by default, it will inherit all of the options that you just chose on the plugin settings page, and it will list all of your products. So all the published products in the product section here on the left of the WordPress admin will appear in the table. 
I don't want to do that because this is my demo site where I've got tons of products. So I just want to show category equals, I'm going to say 108. Um, if you go to the plugin knowledge base, there are loads of ways to list specific products in the table. Uh, one of those is to add the category in this way um, using either the category ID or you could write the slug like clothing or something like that if you preferred. So it works with ID or slug. But have a look at the knowledge base because there's far more than that that you can do. For example, you could list products with a specific tag or custom field value, ID. There's loads of options for how to list, how to choose which products appear on your one page checkout. Um, there's lots of ways you might want to use that as well. So, for example, you might want to create lots of product tables all on the same page, each listing products from a specific category. That's one option. Um, so like you might say, let's say you're creating a restaurant ordering system, which loads of people do with WooCommerce product table. You might want to add like headings between or something like that. Um, you could get the message as to what I'm doing here. So um, each one listing the different things. And either way, once you finish what I'm about to tell you in this tutorial, people will be able to choose products from all of these tables and then scroll down to check out on that same page. But let's keep it simple for now. We're just going to have this one product table shortcode listing the products from category 108. And then underneath that, you need to add a second shortcode, which is WooCommerce underscore checkout. This is the shortcode that actually comes with WooCommerce itself to add the checkout. So to give you a bit of background, when you go to the WooCommerce settings, under, it's somewhere under WooCommerce settings, when you choose the checkout page, um, you, you select a page on your site which you want to use as the checkout, all it does is add this shortcode to the page. Now the neat thing about that is that you can therefore add that shortcode to other pages as well. It doesn't just have to be the main checkout page. So by adding it un underneath your product table, you can therefore create the one page checkout without needing any special one page checkout plugins. And now I'm going to show you how this page looks. I'm just going to select a template because I happen to know that my theme adds a sidebar to the page, which you can do if you want, but I don't want that. So let's publish the page and then we're going to have a look at it. Now here we have my WooCommerce one page checkout. We have the page title, the sentence I added at the top. We then added the WooCommerce product table shortcode, which has added a grid or table of my products. And it has the different options I selected. So as you saw earlier, you can choose what columns appear, whether to have filters and search box how to treat variations in the table and so on. So that was added by the product table shortcode. And if you scroll down, you'll see there is not a checkout at the bottom of the page. That is because the WooCommerce checkout is only activated when you actually add products to the cart. So let's do this now. Now, because I have variable products, I have to choose variations. If you're just showing simple products, you'll be able to tick the box straight away. So let's choose a couple of products, tick them all, and then we add selected to cart. The page will now refresh because you did not tick that Ajax cart out option, which I told you not to check on the settings page. So now we'll see a success message. And if we scroll down, we can see the cart, the checkout at the bottom. The checkout lists the two products which I just added, which is exactly what we want, um, payment methods, all the usual checkout stuff. So that is how the one page checkout works. So we've got a sentence telling people what to do. We've got product table shortcode and a checkout shortcode. And that does the job. That's what we want. On a final note, um, you might have noticed the success message links to the cart. And because of the theme I'm using, there's also a cart icon here. Uh, now, you may want to have that because there are benefits to allowing people to click through to the cart if they want to. So I'll show you now. If I click through to the cart, a WooCommerce cart is editable. So I can change the products that appear in my cart, for example. I can change quantities. I can update the cart. All of that is not possible on the one page checkout uh, because, uh, where is it? There we go. 
because it's a read-only list. Um, see, I just went to the cart and I'd lost a product. There were previously two products listed here, now there's just one. And I edited that, it edited that in the cart. A checkout is about confirming what you've already selected and allowing you to uh, continue and complete that order. The checkout is not about editing products in your cart. So if you do want people to be able to edit the products in their cart, after they add them from the product table, you may want to leave the cart links in. And just have a think about the user journey that you want people to go through uh, to navigate your site in an intuitive way. Think about where you want the different links and things like that. And there's more advice on this in the written tutorial which comes with this video. Again, I'll put a link to the written tutorial in the description for this video on YouTube so that you can find it and see the extra advice in there. So that's it. Now you know how to create a WooCommerce one-page checkout with a product table where customers can choose your products. They add products to the cart, it then refreshes the page and displays them in a one-page checkout underneath. That will list all the payment methods and the shipping options which you have set up in WooCommerce itself and they can then place their order and complete the purchase. So let's do that now. So I'm clicking place order and it's taken me to the standard WooCommerce order confirmation page. So that's a complete order within WooCommerce and then all the normal WooCommerce stuff checks it, uh, kicks in such as adding email notifications, sending you an email, sending the customer an email, all that stuff, um, all done via the one page checkout. Now you can get the WooCommerce product table plugin from our website barn2.co.uk and that's apart from the free WooCommerce plugin itself uh, from WooCommerce.com. Those are the only two plugins that you need to achieve this. WooCommerce product table comes with full support so do get in touch if you need any help getting it set up. And thanks for watching.